reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, verses 13 to 17. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Then Jesus went again to walk alongside the lake. Again a crowd came to him, and he taught them. Strolling along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, at his work collecting taxes. Jesus said, Come along with me. He came. Later, Jesus and his disciples were at home, having supper with a collection of disreputable guests. Unlikely as it seems, more than a few of them had become followers. The religion scholars and Pharisees saw him keeping this kind of company and lit into his disciples. What kind of example is this? Acting cozy with the riffraff? Jesus, overhearing, shot back, who needs a doctor, the healthy or the sick? I am here inviting the sin sick, not the spiritually fit. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, verses 13 to 17. The vocation of Levi, which we read in the Gospel today, speak to us about an unlikely vocation. Levi is a tax collector, although considered anti-national and public sinner by patriotic Jews, but by profession he is economically well-off and wields power in the government. Being in the job, he could claim a lot of privileges and benefits, but all of a sudden and forever he leaves his job simply because a stranger called him, follow me. We have to assume a prehistory to this call. Levi must have been listening to this preacher and might have witnessed the miracles he performed. But nothing is said about it in the Gospels. Possibly his vocation story is presented like this to highlight that with Jesus there is no discussion. Either he is obeyed or he is rejected. He is always the Lord and never compromises. He acts, as the slogan on the coat of arms of Pope Francis says, Miserando atque eligendo, which means by showing mercy and by choosing. Jesus mercifully chooses the tax collector to be his apostle, and Levi does not think twice to respond. Pope Francis chose this sentence about the call of Matthew as his motto on his coat of arms to remind him of God's merciful choosing of a sinner. Levi invited his friends as well as others to celebrate his vocation. He understands that being called by Jesus is like falling in love, finding a treasure. The gospel is an invitation to follow him. Of course, we have decided to follow Christ long ago and that's why we have received the sacraments and go to church and read the scripture. Well, Levi, the tax collector, tells something more to us today. Responding to Jesus, be it an immediate decision or a well-meditated discernment, requires total commitment. Following Jesus cannot be a part-time activity or a half-hearted decision. The leaders of the community raise a concern over Jesus' proximity to the public sinners and accepting them in his company. How often do we label people as not suitable for our acquaintance and keep them away from our communities and circles? Jesus brings in a pastoral approach. He never despised the sinner. The closeness of Jesus to the sinner is always therapeutic, healing. Jesus, who laid down his life for us sinners, invites us to come to him as we are. It's like saying, let sin not stop us. Let worldly attractions not lure us away from God's loving invitation to go to him, to follow him. <laughs>